What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we are thrifting, which I'm so excited about and I'm feeling in a very like girly, floral, like boho, whimsical kind of mood today. <laughs> So I feel like that's what I specifically want to go thrifting for. I don't just want to like get whatever I see. I want to be specific with the items that I'm getting since I'm in such a specific mood. It's really hot here where I'm at. I think today it's like in the upper 90s. So I am sweating in the car without my AC running. So let's just go in there. Um, yeah. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me over there. I love it when you guys send me things that you're buying in the thrift store, send me pictures of your hauls, send me things that you're making outfits out of that are like thrifted. So follow me over on Instagram to see what I end up wearing and send me what you guys end up wearing because I love making friends. And yeah, I'm sweating. You can literally see the sweat on my face. So let's just go inside. Today I am in Yuba City, California, which is about an hour away from where I live. Haven't been to this Goodwill in a minute. If I get a basket, sometimes I just fill the basket up and I don't want to do that today. So I'm just gonna hold what I find, I think. This is kind of a unique color combination. I feel like I don't normally see like hot pink with like mustard yellow or it's almost like a brown. I kind of like it. It's from J. Crew. I'm gonna leave it behind, but I thought it was kind of cute. It's not very like boho floral though, so. Ooh, this is a little bit like boho-y looking with the tassels at the top. I don't love this fabric though at the bottom. And I never wear things that are off the shoulder. What is that? That's hilarious. Like perfect for like Y2K, 90s Y2K. Oh my God, that's so funny. Rave City. Not for today's theme, but funny. As far as dresses, this is what I've found so far. I found this little red kind of like boho balloon sleeved little dress. It's like red floral print. I don't tend to wear that much red, so I'm not sure about this one. I might put it back. This is beautiful. It's not what I was going for. Much more like elegant and fancy, but I think it's so pretty. It's from Caché. It's in a size 12 though, so I'm not sure if it'll fit. I might have to try that one on because these dressing rooms are open. This one's kind of cute. It's from Boohoo in a size four. I don't know though. It might not give me any shape. It looks really wide right here. It's just kind of like a little small floral print with little yellow flowers, but I don't know. The material looks a little bit kind of like cheap to me and not high quality, so I'd rather go with that cachet. I found this kimchi blue. This is kind of like what I was looking for. This one's really cute. Just kind of like a little mini floral dress. The only thing about it is that it's strapless. And I know I've mentioned recently, a lot of my strapless stuff I don't end up wearing because it just doesn't fit me properly or like is not flattering for my body type. But this is super cute if it had straps. I don't think I can add straps. But this is exactly kind of like what I was looking for today. This is the last dress that I've found so far. It's also like pink and has like a little ruffle at the bottom. I feel like this would be a good, maybe like bachelorette party. You're going to a bachelorette party or like a baby shower kind of dress. Or like, I don't know, something that's like kind of dressy. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these two and put away these ones. Found a fake little Prada. <laughs> I'm in the men's section and I kind of like this striped button down. I wonder if I could wear it as a dress. I might try it on. Oh, you guys, I love this dress. It's so pretty. It has like the halter with like these little green rhinestones. The material doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels really nice and expensive. It's so pretty, but I think it's just too big. It's not very flattering on me because it's just too loose. It's a size 12, so. <laughs> so I guess I have to leave it behind, but I'm sad. I like to get little stuffed animals for my dogs in the 
stuffed animal kids section. I was just running through the washing machine. So I found these two little monsters. So it's a nice coffee table, just really basic and simple. I really like it, it's only 20 bucks. Maybe for our office? Just left, I got some stuff. I'm excited to show you guys everything that I got. Where did I park today? Got all the goods, so I'll show you guys once I wash everything, once I get home. Side note, I was super thirsty and hot, and I need a little pick-me-up, it's about 3.30 right now, so I just went and got a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. I've never gotten one. The guy that was working was super nice. I got it unsweetened vanilla. Let's do a taste test really fast. Normally, I make my coffee at home, and then if I'm out and about, I go to Starbucks, just because I know what I order at Starbucks, so it's like, I'm always scared to try something new, you know? But this looks really good. And it was only three bucks and it's huge. Unsweetened vanilla with cream. Yep. It's good, you guys. Not too sweet. The perfect amount of sweetener. i probably end up going to Dunkin' every time I'm in town now. Ah, okay. See you guys when I get home. <laughs> All right guys, we are back from the thrift store. I've washed everything and it's actually been like uh, maybe like two weeks since I filmed the come thrift with me portion of this video. Um, so we're here to do the haul. I didn't find as many things there that I loved and I felt like fit the theme of the video. Sometimes when I do thrift videos that are themed, it's really fun, but it's also very challenging because you want to find all of these things, but sometimes the thrift store is just not hitting, you know? And that was one of those days. Some of the things that I got that day didn't actually even fit the theme, but it was something that I've been thinking about wanting to get and I'll explain that more. So to be honest with you guys, I have added to the haul since going to Goodwill since that video. One of my best friends, Natasha, it was her birthday, so I went to a Goodwill and so I picked up a few things while I was there getting her a gift certificate for her birthday. Um, so yeah, I've added to this video, but all the stuff is also from Goodwill and I'll show you the prices and everything. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, I hope you can see me. I'm filming at a completely different angle than I normally do, so hopefully that you can see my entire outfit. Um, but this is what I got. This is obviously not on theme for what I was going for, like the boho girly, like florals, flouncy kind of outfits. Um, but this is what I found when I was there, and it's something that struck a idea when I was there. So number one, I have been seeing a lot of these little like pajama style sets around. I have seen them in fast fashion stores online, uh, on Instagram, and also a lot of thrifters thrifting kind of like these little, usually something like this photo, like a seersucker top and bottom set that almost looks like a PJ set, but you wear it out. Also, one of my very favorite YouTubers, Lonnie Ozark. If you guys don't follow her, she's amazing and inspiring, and I always love watching her content. Um, she has recently thrifted a ton of men's boxer shorts to wear as these like cute little summer shorts. And I just thought it was so cute and they're so affordable. Obviously you wanna make sure that they look nice and clean. So I did end up trying her little tip to thrift some boxer shorts. I am looking for a set that has the seersucker light blue like stripes for the top and the bottom because I think that'd be a cute set. And then on top, I got this striped shirt that I showed you guys from the men's section. And I just thought it would look cute with the shorts. Like I would wear this outfit out and about as long as it wasn't too hot out. But when I saw this shirt, what I really wanted to get it for is it reminded me, another YouTuber that I love is Karen Britchick. She does a lot of just fashion content in general, but she also does a lot of thrifting, secondhand shopping, vintage shopping. And she also does the amazing series called What Everyone Is Wearing in New York. And she goes up to people on the streets and interviews when they have a great outfit, like what the outfit is and the ideas. And she meets a lot of really unique dressers. There was this image of this person that I just thought was so genius and beautiful. I will insert it here. And it is basically two men's button up shirts put together and then they used it as a dress and tied the arms in the back. So I'm gonna really quickly try to look up how they did that and recreate it and see if it will look good. I thought that this little striped shirt, since it is rainbow, would pair perfectly with one of my favorite thrift finds ever, which is this silk 
shirt. So let's see if I can recreate the way they did that and if it looks cute or not. Um, when I saw this shirt, it just reminded me that I wanted to try that. So here we go. See, those will pair together so nicely. Also, I will link both Lonnie Ozark and Karen Britt Chick's channels and the videos that I was talking about where they talk about these two trends in the description bar if you guys wanna check out those ladies. Oh my God, you guys. So this is me putting the two shirts together. See how I was saying they buttoned up half and half and then took the sides of the back tied it and then tied it in the front almost as a belt obviously this is not like an everyday i'm just gonna go run errands kind of outfit but i feel like it's just so creative and unique and beautiful and just really makes you look at your clothes differently you can transform your clothes and make them look like such different pieces if you get creative i love it so much i think it's so cool and fun i love the way that they pair together as you guys can see here i think it would look beautiful if i had like a really big brooch right here where they meet or even maybe like some chain belts like some gold chain belts i still have the little shorts on underneath just in case there's any like slippage but i just think this is so cute and by the way i saw that his instagram was linked in karen Britt chicks video so i looked up his instagram and he is a true artist beautiful creative person and i just thought it was so cool i loved it and i'm so glad that i picked up this little shirt to pair with this one for this outfit i just think it's fun creative and definitely worth a photo so amazing job karen Britchick and raleigh robinson for this idea now i just have like a feeling i'm gonna want to try this with a bunch of men's button downs there's so many combinations that you can make because you just unbutton it and button it with another one okay moving on to our next actual on themed outfit all right my friends here is the next outfit this one is a little bit more tropical than i was expecting i actually thrifted this from my local mom and pop type thrift store and it was ten dollars but i got it on sale for half off on tuesdays it's half off day so that's when i like to go shop over there and it is a jams world piece i have gushed and gushed and gushed about how much i love jams world and i feel like i'm starting a little mini collection of hilo hattie and jams world pieces which are both i'm pretty sure they're both from hawaii i have recently learned about coconut girl aesthetic from tiktok I'm not a big TikToker, you guys, but recently I have been going on there for a little while. I saw that all these girls wearing all these tropical prints, it's called Coconut Girl Aesthetic, apparently, and I am here for it. I love that Jams World does these really, like, watercolory kind of prints. They're always floral, but it looks like somebody watercolored them. So there's never really like many harsh lines. It all just kind of like flows together. And I just think that that's so beautiful. And I just paired it with some little tropical accessories, my little beaded bag that I got at Marshalls and this cute little hat that I wear often with my kind of like summery outfits as well here is the next little dress right here i honestly forget how much this one is so i have to look i took pictures of all the tags before washing everything this one was 6.99 it is just from charlotte Ruth. kind of like this red i feel like it's kind of like a 90s style and length how it has a little bit of like a flouncy hem at the bottom and i just thought it would look really cute with this long duster cardigan my mom actually ended up giving me this one recently when she was going through her closet so thank you mama i love it i think it's cute this is perfect for like a date night out that's going to be a little bit cooler maybe you're like near some water or something or it's just kind of like a cooler night and you wanted to have something that you could take off and put back on when you're at dinner i just have these super chunky um sandals they're kind of like mule what do you call these they have that like chunky clog heel wood heel and then just the one big strap on the front and i am obsessed with them i think that they're so cute and they're actually not too bad to walk in and as far as bag i'd probably just try to pair it with a little like cream or tan colored little small shoulder bag i actually don't have that many shoulder bags because i don't wear them that often but that's what kind of bag i would put with it if i had one <laughs> All right, you guys, and then here's the last outfit. I would say that this one is just more like girly than boho because I did a bit of print mixing. 
I noticed that if I push myself out of my comfort zone and try different outfits that I probably wouldn't put together normally, I just find it so much more interesting. A lot of times I feel like I just play it safe with clothing and just wear like a normal like t-shirt and shorts on an everyday, like nothing exciting or like outfit of the day photo worthy. But when I put together outfits like this that are just a lot more, I don't know, just like creative or when I see other people wear stuff like this, I like it. So I don't know why I don't do it myself. So in, anyways, it's kind of like a sheer fabric button down blouse. And then it has a lot of different print mixing going on. It's obviously very floral. And then a lot of polka dots, but like larger polka dots, smaller polka dots, different colors of polka dots. And then they just put it all together. And then I have it paired with some of my little Doc Martin duped sandals. And then with this cute little vintage purse that I got a little while ago, it's black, but still summery since it's kind of like that woven basket material. The top was $4.99, so not bad at all. And since it is sheer, I feel like I can wear it in hotter weather. I could honestly just wear this over like a bathing suit, I think would be really cute if it was maybe like a black or white or pink bathing suit and just wear it open as kind of like a cover up. I look at this outfit in the mirror. I just makes me happy. Like it's very funky, fun, but like happy in my opinion. So yeah, I think that, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys ended up enjoying it. It was definitely quite a process from going to the thrift store and not really having much there that day, finding these other pieces while I was thrifting later on in the week and showing you guys and then trying to make outfits, but very, very fun. And I always enjoy getting a little bit more creative and outside of the box. I definitely would love it if you guys followed me over on Instagram because I feel like we can just have a lot more of like an intimate discussion over there. A lot of you guys are so sweet and I love it so much because you send me like your outfit of the days or things that you've thrifted recently that were really good buys or some of you guys just like to check in with me and let me know how you know you're doing, what your week is filled with or what the weather's like where you guys are at. Some of you guys update on me on like your dogs and I love it so much you guys. If you follow me over on Instagram, I feel like I can just get to know you guys better if you guys have an Instagram. And if not, I definitely love to talk to you guys in the comments down below as well. Um, I think that that is everything. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you very, very soon. I think my next thrift video, I might have talked my dad into going thrifting with me for a Father's Day video. You guys love seeing my dad cause he's a big goofball and we're very much alike. So I feel like we really like, I don't know, when we're together, we're just kind of like, you know what I mean? So um, I think I talked him into doing a thrift video next week. We're both fully vaccinated, so it's very exciting to be able to see him on a regular basis now. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Let me know how you guys feel about me filming right here too. Can you guys see my outfits better from this like lower angle or am I too far away and you can't really see me? Let me know. <laughs> okay, bye.